All right, folks, up next, Pineapple Express 2. No, so this is the end. What'd I say? Pineapple Express 2. Yeah, see you in a minute. No, there's more people, and <laughs> this is the end, than there was Pineapple Express. I don't, see, I don't understand what you're saying at all. Here, check it out. See, who, see who's right. Sad! <laughs> I have the best we could ever plan. James Franco's having a giant party. <laughs> This place is beautiful, man. This place is like a piece of me. You two just stepped inside me. You let us both come inside you. Yeah. Boom. Thanks, James Franco. Have you seen Michael Sarah tonight? What's up, Rihanna? Can't believe people still invite him places. Oh, don't touch my bubble. Yeah. Oh, it's a weird face. So hot. Office is urging people to stay in their homes right now. Looting, ah! rioting. For all we know, the Lakers could have just won, and that's the reason why all this is happening. I think it's the apocalypse. It's all in here. And he opened the bottomless pit. The sinkhole? Every single time I turn on the news, sinkhole in South America, a bunch of South Americans getting sucked into the ground. Sinkhole in my ass. What's your reaction, son? We should just stay in here, fortify this Take inventory of all the food we have. We got 12 bottles of water, 56 beers, Nutella, CT Crunch, a Milky Way. Can I have that Milky Way? No, you can't have the Milky Way. It's my special food. I like it. I want some of the Milky Way. I'd be pretty bummed if I don't at least get a bite of the Milky Way. What you want, son? This is my king. This is my lane. Get out of the way. What you want, hun? And showed up. There are six of us, you cannot rob us! Oh, Hermione yeah. just stole all I think stupid and right dumb. Yo, so I just drank my own pee for the first time. And it ain't bad. <laughs> all right, so that was This is the End. The end of comedy movies as we know it. No, no. <laughs> I, was say, yeah, I was like a little heavy handed. Uh, <laughs> uh, this movie, uh, though, writer, directors, uh, first time, uh, Evan Goldberg and Seth Rogen, the writing duo of Superbad and Pineapple Express, are actually directing this time. So Judd Apatow has no t connection to this movie whatsoever. This, so this will be very much loaded with marijuana jokes then. Yes, and, and as we see in the trailer with Craig Robinson uh, drinking your own Urine. Thanks, well. <laughs> uh, we got Craig Robinson, Seth Rogen, we got Michael Sarah, we got James Franco, we've got Jonah Hill, we've got Danny McBride, uh, we've got Emma Watson, Emma Watson in it. We, there's 20 actors that are playing themselves in this movie before we even get to fictional characters, like people playing other people. That's, a, a, that's, that's, that's the first thing to say about this movie, you know? And can I say that that, to me, is the death kiss of this movie? Too many people playing themselves? Not only that, that they think that they're that funny, that they can get away with this. They, it seems like it's, they're just so in love with every idea they put out there, which is good, but they don't temper it with self-criticism, it seems like. It seems like every flippant idea that enters these guys' skull gets put into print. And I think this could kill, like, you know, yeah, Michael Sarah joke. Ah, it's funny, you know. And then make it fun of, like, you know, uh, Azzy Azari or how you pronounce that comedian yeah. who falls yeah. in the pit. You're already in the pit, you know, just. Um, Craig Robinson, who clearly can't carry a movie by people's, people's prove that. Uh, you know, and then all these other people who are kind of on their way out. You know, James Franco. Oz, you know, how terrible was that? Yeah, He's he, about to ruin a Cormac McCarthy book by writing and directing that movie. Well, hey, who knows? Maybe that's where his talent should be, like Ben Affleck. Yeah, no, because he's proved himself as such a writer. Have you read his short story book? It no, sucked. but maybe, Well, hey, sucked. hey, hey, you never know. You never know. You bought your MFA, you jerk. And you didn't deserve to play Ginsburg either. Or, uh, or the Green Goblin. Or James Dean. I don't know. I never saw that one. He makes a career out of playing other people who were successful. Uh, <laughs> but that being said, I am going to give this a DVD. And the only reason I give it a DVD. Really? A DVD? The only reason I give it a DVD is because of Pineapple Express. Because 
there's a movie that should have been flat out horrible. And I went and saw it. I was like, God, it's funny. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was. Yeah. Super bad was too. So I. Now I know y'all are tripping. Did you actually not know what happened last night? Daniel, you may want to stay seated for a second because some really messed up stuff happened and there were a lot of fatalities. Okay, tell me about these fatalities. Dude, Siegel's dead, Krumholz is dead, Michael Sarah's dead. Yes, and Michael Sarah's gone, it's not a total loss, huh? Jonah, you're an Academy Award nominated person. You need to be selling that, dude. Fatalities, there was some fatalities. Fatalities. Okay, no, that was good. That was They're good. They're all just playing themselves. You have Jonah Hill sitting there going, oh, I'm kind of awkward. And Seth well, Rogen well, go, I smoke pot. And James Franco going, I'm successful. It's just like, and well, Michael Sarah. Gives a flying. No, no, no. no. There, there's a scene. There's a scene in the tra trailer. My swear button is way past the mark. Yeah. On this text. Look, look, look. <laughs> look, there's a scene in there. I think some of it's going to be a little hilarious, and and I think they're going to. I think they're going to be making fun of themselves in some some sense because there's a part where Danny McBride makes fun of Jonah Hill about Jonah Hill says like, says something very like serious, like hey, we're, we're there's something serious going on, and everybody's really, really, Oscar nominated Jonah, Jonah Hill, Hill can't give me anything better than that. And I think that, I think they're gonna if that if they're gonna make fun of Jonah Hill like that I think they're gonna make fun of each. But other here's the like thing: that. the jokes get buried. Even in the trailer, they bury them. Emma Watson shows up with the axe. What do they do? They're all filming about it. Well, Hermione stole our food. Like you know, and just they're burying it. It's like, it's the real world during the apocalypse if done by funny, funny people. I had to put down the coffee. That's how serious this was. I think they're fun. I think a lot of them are hilarious. I think it's gonna be a really funny movie. I think. I think I'm going to go I'm with the matinee. I was about to say, I'm sensing a full-out green here. No, 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 no. It's a matinee. It's a matinee. I think it's We're gonna not be... that far off, then. I gave it DVD. Uh, yeah, well, I think it's going to be a lot better than DVD. I think it's going to be one of those movies where everyone's... I think it's going to be one of those movies where everyone's talking about it, and if you, don't, and you haven't seen it, you're going to not know what's going on. They said the same thing about Ted. Screw that movie, too. Ted was awesome. You shut up. Screw that Ted movie, too. Ted was a full-on green. You shut up. You shut your face when you're talking to me. We'll be right back.